everybody, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to save you time and money. And today I'll take you through a few steps of what to do if your washing machine is not draining water properly. So you're doing a wash and all the clothes are coming out sopping wet or the washing machine has actually stopped mid-cycle and it's full of water. Before we get started, there's a link above now about how to install a brand new washing machine. Now, what should be happening is when you do a wash, your clothes get all nice and clean and then at the end of the cycle, it does a spin and it drains all the water out of the washing machine. And if you've got an outside space where it it drains it's worth going out and having a look to see if it's draining properly but if you live in a flat this might not be possible so what's happened on ours is it's stopped mid-cycle and it won't drain and it's just full of water I'll take you through a few simple steps to try and figure out why your washing machine isn't draining right let's get cracking now the first thing you need to do is turn off the power at the switch and also unplug it just so you don't get any power surges. Then hopefully you can open the door and empty out all your clothes into a washing basket. And as you can see with this one, there's lots of standing water inside the drum. Now if you can't get the front door open, there's a link above now about how to open a front door on a washing machine when it's stuck. Then you need to pull the washing machine out so you've got access to the rear. But just be careful when you're pulling it out, don't pull it out too far because obviously you've got all the pipe work at the back. Now the first thing you need to do is turn off the mains cold water feed and the next thing is to check the drainage hose. Now this is the drainage pipe which comes out of the back of the washing machine where all the water drains out so just take an old washing bowl and just empty the water into there. Now this pipe's actually looking quite good with no blockages in there. So the next thing is to check the U-bend on your drainage pipe work. Now a U-bend is designed so that any blockages sit in that U-bend and you can just remove it easily and clear out any blockages. Before we do that, it's worth having a look down the drainage pipe work just to see if you can see any blockages. And I can see right down the bottom there, I can see some water, so that is good. It doesn't look like there's any blockages in there, but let's just double check. So just get an old tray, put that underneath the U-bend and just unscrew these plastic nuts here. Now these shouldn't be done up very tight unless somebody's glued them. Now what we're hoping to see here is just fresh water. You'll soon find out pretty easily if this is all blocked up with gunge and gunk. And actually this one's looking pretty good. It's meant to have obviously water in there because it will sit in the U-bend. So I'm happy with that. No blockages in there. So let's just tighten it all back up again. Remember, don't be tempted to use any pliers on here. Just hand tighten it because it's only a plastic thread and you don't want to damage it. And then put the drainage hose back in from the washing machine. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about various how-to guides on all sorts of makes and models of washing machines. The next thing that you can try on your washing machine is to remove the drainage pump filter because you might have a blockage in here. Normally it could be coins or hair clips or anything like that. Now obviously they all vary on depending on what type of washing machine you've got. So here's just a generic one. This one is actually from a hot point washing machine. And there's a link above now about how to remove the drainage filter on a hot point washing machine. And this one here is on a Bosch washing machine. Again, this one is in the bottom right hand corner. So what you're doing is you're just removing that and just making sure there's no blockages. So I'm just going to remove one here and as you can see a coin has just dropped out. So that is not good. And if I delve in a bit deeper, there's definitely something stuck in here. Hold on, what's that? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, come on. And that is why this washing machine is not draining because we've got a hair clip stuck on the drainage propeller. So I'll just let you go off for five or 10 minutes and remove your pump filter and check that out and then come back to the video. And welcome back. Hope you got that sorted. Next thing to do is remember to turn the mains water back on. Otherwise you won't get any washing done. Then you can put your wet washing back in the washing machine. Get it all loaded up. You can see how much water there was. And then you need to plug the washing machine back in and turn it back on. Make sure you don't do that with wet hands or fingers. And then you can just start the wash again. Mm -hmm. 
and then hopefully you've cured the drainage problem on your washing machine and the drainage water is coming out nice and fast. It's also definitely worth doing a super hot wash with no clothes in the hottest setting it will go just to flush out all the pipe work and the washing machine. If you think there's a blockage further out down the system outside of the property then you can test the washing machine drainage by just taking the drainage hose and putting it in the sink or a large washing up bowl. And then when you run a washing cycle you'll see if it's draining correctly. I'll tell you what, after all that hard work it's definitely time for a lovely cup of tea. Oh, oh. If you would like more how to's on how to save you time and money, then please press the subscribe button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, everyone. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that'd be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab.